today we are so happy that we can interview <laughs> Katsu san. <Yay>. Katsu san. <laughs> Katsu san. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, Irene. Yeah. Come on, Irene. Oh, sorry. <laughs> so, <laughs> so Katsu is um, my boss. He's my boss. Uh, oh, yeah. Used to be. <laughs> Used to be. Yeah. <laughs> always. Anymore. One day boss, always boss. <laughs> yeah. So I met Katsu san in uh, Niseko Sports, mm -hmm. where there's a shop uh, in Park Hyatt. So um, Kazu-san is a really awesome guy, not only during the work, because I also was stalking him <laughs> on his Instagram. <laughs> so I noticed like now he has two children and they are so cute. They have like awesome parenting um, skills that is very different from Taiwanese family. <laughs> and today I just want to um, interview Kazu-san and then to share her uh, his experience and yeah, that's welcome, Katsu. Okay, thank you. Yeah, Katsu, can you introduce yourself briefly? Uh, briefly. <laughs> okay, uh, yeah. I'm Katsu, uh, 41 years old. No Pure way. Pure Japanese guy. <laughs> 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 uh, so I, I, uh, I originally from Ibaraki Prefecture near Tokyo, but mainly I uh, grew up. It's called Tachikawa, the city in Tokyo. I moved to here, Hokkaido, uh, I don't know, 15 years ago, if I remember correctly. And since mm -hmm. then, I'm here. Yeah, like just Irene told me, uh, told you guys, uh, I have uh, two kids, one wife, and... Uh, oh, one wife. Good. Yeah, one is enough. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um... Yeah, and then uh, I work uh, as a shop manager in the winter, uh, rental retail shop. Uh, whereas in summer, I uh, manage like uh, the um, the illumination thing, like uh, it's called mountain light. The project in summer. Uh, so basically, I uh, have uh, like two titles: one in winter and the other in summer. Yeah. Yeah. Really cool, and I think like. Just now, everyone can notice Katsu-san has a very fluent English. And not just <laughs> only like this, because to organize the people from overseas is a very difficult task. But you're super open-minded. And especially like for the first year in our team, there are two very special colleagues, like <laughs> the staffs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hard to deal with. <laughs> and <laughs> But your manager is so chill and so well. So... I just wonder, like, have you been living abroad and do you think that experience has influenced you? Yeah, certainly. Um, I live, I, I, yeah, I've been to Australia uh, for seven, eight years. <gasps> uh, wow. Yeah, I was study there. Uh, and then, of course, that experience, uh, it's helped a lot. I don't know if it's good enough or, but I have a, so this language skill to, you know, get involved with uh, lots of foreign people, foreigners, and uh, that helped me to, uh, you know, dealing with the customers as well as the, the foreign staff. Yeah, since I'm the 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 position, uh, my role is like a manager, need to be, you know, managing the people from all over the people, all over the world. Yeah, so that experience will help me to dealing with those uh, people. Not only the guests, but also the staff. So here, just give everyone a little notice about like what is the like, working in Niseko looks like, because Niseko is like the destination for all the ski or snowboarder. It's like a heaven because the powder. Yeah, powder. especially in the winter. Né? In the winter, it's really crazy, and that's why when I first step into Niseko, I realize this doesn't look like Japan. Mm -hmm. The people working on the streets are mostly foreigners. Yeah. Beginning, I thought you are growing up in Hokkaido, but you said you're you actually not coming from Hokkaido uh, when uh, you grew up. My hometown. Yeah. How did you uh, starting yeah. to love outdoor? Around my house, like a uh, back home, uh, it's a uh, like a uh, mountains like, uh, rice rice fields. A rice field. Rice fields, yes. And um, and then yeah, it's very. Uh, I would say that's very countryside. Yeah, but that was my original house. But then, like I said, I moved to like uh, that in Tokyo uh, when I was which is a little. big city. 
Yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But then I occasionally keep back and forth my original house because the grandparents were there. So mm. and then the Tokyo back and forth. So and I, I once I was the kid, loved to nature, like uh, searching for the bugs or you know, uh, yeah, climbing up the trees or you yeah. know, just running around the rice fields. So uh, my like, yeah, I was they yeah, growing up that kind of environment mm. so although i was living like city like in tokyo area but still i kind of uh wanted to go back to like where i was i, I came from once so um uh, then after the australia when i decided to come back to japan uh i could go back to my hometown but then uh it's happened to be i just you know found out like uh niseko hokkaido is very good place and especially I could use this you know the language skill to get the job yeah so to be honest it's not like I was here because I am after like a powder good powder snow in Niseko it's more like uh, it's just uh, happened to be I was here I just come here yeah. so yeah so you just moved to Niseko right well, uh, after right you af- finished yeah. uh, Australia right. yes and they were also recruiting people so mm, mm, mm. and i believe how long was that um seven, 15 years ago yeah so wow 2009 or 2010 wow. something like that i believe 15 years ago and now is a big different right yeah yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and can you share like uh, your year round lifestyle and work style in hokkaido ah uh, okay so uh yeah, obviously the winter, uh, I so I work as a ski rental and then retail shop. So pretty much I was staying in the ski resort. And uh, so here, um, usually up to golden week, it's called like a winter season. Mm. So golden week, which is early May. And then after that, uh, once the snow starts to melt, then... Uh, I I'm on the so another project called Mountain Light, which is the illumination light, like uh, yeah. I surf. went yesterday. Yeah, in in uh in on on the ski resort actually on the slope. So once snow melt, then then I start, uh you know the setting up those installation, and then uh that season like a uh, summer season last until I don't know uh, late September or early October. Then we do need to pack them down yeah. before the snow falls. Oh, right. So uh, then get ready for the winter. So I would say early May, a couple of weeks, and then the November is kind of a bit like a chill time. But then always we need to look ahead and then getting ready for the coming season. So it's not really like a vacation, but mm. uh, yeah. Uh, but we can have a kind of free time. Yeah, it also sounds like there is a very uh, significant transition in between different seasons mm. because I believe many people who work in the office is the whole season like all year yeah. round seems yeah, right, like the same right, right. because it's always S- indoor then. So, um, like Hokkaido, right? Like uh, it's the north part of Japan and a lot of snow. So, not half of the year, but pretty much close to half of the year is covered with the snow. Mm. So. I really, f- I really feel like uh, we live in like in season, like uh, we live in the nature. So, uh, like uh, you know, winter obviously lots, lots of snows, and uh, spring, all the, all the you know flower is bloomed, and then the summer, it's all getting all green, and w- autumn, it ch- leaves change color, and then back to winter. So, and then I, f- I like to be you know live in the nature, live in the season. So that's, I think uh, if I compare with like of just an ordinary office worker, maybe I, I have more chance to feel that kind of change in mm. nature. So yeah, I mean, that's one of the reasons I keep living here. Mm, yeah, it's yeah. also not getting that boring, right? Because mm, mm, it's mm. very feels like every day you are always, and like you said, you're always looking forward. You need to like the coming task and the season changing. 
And also every season, even like this year, you guys have um, in the cycle sports, especially yeah, they yeah. have a new plan. So yeah, wow. And also every year they will have like a different, like managing a different team from different mm. nationalities and mm-hmm. background with the yeah. staff turnover every year. Yeah. It sounds like really like huge challenges. How do you yeah. consider this <laughs> like big biggest challenge? Mm. And do you have any advice? For people who's also uh, in the same position, uh, I think the key is the communication, and then we respect the people's background. So obviously, so it, like say you come into Japan from overseas, and then if you decide to leave, uh, stay in Japan and work in Japan, of course you need to fit in like Japanese culture. But at the same time, you are not Japanese, so you need to be. Have a different cultural background from us. So uh, then, in my position, we need I need to be kind of respect their background, their culture, and then what they think or the way they think, to, and to have a communicate with them, so that uh, we can be like uh, one team, and then we can you know uh, work uh, as a team towards our guest, our customer together. So and then of course the guests also have a different background people. Yeah. yeah. So it's the same thing. Have a well communicate each other and then we res- respect them and then so it is challenging, it is hard, it is tough job. But then at the same time it's very like uh, I don't know, enjoyable, fun. Yeah. And then uh yeah, uh I don't feel that's a very tough job. It's more like a fun job mm. yeah do you so. do you think it's because um you used to live abroad so you can have men you can stand in other people's shoes while you were traveling mm, around mm, and mm, then mm, mm. maybe other people were and uh, you need to meet many people from different yeah, backgrounds yeah yeah so yeah my experience in australia time was really great help and then yeah i met lots of people different people different background people mm-hmm. and then I know the world is very big and then, you know, there are lots of people. So so that I learned to accept the people's differences. Mm. Yeah, so it's easy to say no, but, you know, if you listen and accept what they think or what they are, who they are, then try to understand what they think. Then, yeah, that's... Yeah, like it's like uh, every time meeting the new people, mm. so explore my world to meeting the people. So yeah, it's uh, it's not easy, but not hard too. Like mm. uh, you know, it's not and difficult. Do you think like so? So far, you've been working for uh, in Nisiko for fifteen years. Have mm. you ever um, faced the uh, very headache staff yeah yeah, like, yeah, yeah you course. have to dealing with them or like uh in the most difficult situation how did you Th- solve that uh, problem yeah of course i'm the human being too i'm just yeah. one man so of course i have a good day but day, you know yeah the mood good mood bad mood yeah. so guys some, go on a stool yeah, some, let's <laughs> battle <laughs> sometimes yeah of course uh yeah i'm getting like, like a struggle dealing with the people of course but mm. uh but again, that's I just trying to be understand. You know, this is not my timing. I mean, this is not my timing, or this is not my day. Mm. And then you as, let go as, very as, Yeah, let it go. And it, as time goes by, then mm. maybe next day will be better. Mm. And so. probably have to don't say have to see his, this this guy in the next season. <laughs> 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 uh, see you never. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, or maybe he or she also have a bad day today, uh, so bad right. timing right now. Yeah. So Ari has a lot of bad timing there. Eh? Yeah, I know that. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, you, you you see, but next next day you just come back with a smile. Like, hey, good morning, guys. You know. Yeah. So yeah, I think it's just a uh, you know mm. just the way it is. So yeah. So, so you never think about like uh, quitting the job or anything. You just really enjoy this. So far, this, never. Yeah. Oh, yeah, nice. I don't know in the future, mm. but like I said, so far I'm enjoying my life and and then how I live. That's yeah, really okay. cool. Yeah. yeah, that's how I feel. Like from your like working with you and then 
also like seeing from your Insta- Instagram stories.、Mm-hmm. But like a lot of people know, social media doesn't mean everything, right? So that's why I'm double check. <laughs> 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 okay. Okay. One thing I noticed though, like your approaching to parenting is、mm-hmm. very inspiring.、Mm-hmm. Um, can you share your philosophy on parenting? Do you own、mm. upbringing? This influence your parents, your parenting、uh, style, like from your parents. Yeah, raising up a kid, a one, <laughs> one, you know, like、uh, the people. I remember the person. It's very. It is tough job there,、eh? and then、uh, than I never,、work? I never, I never <laughs> done before. I think everybody does. Doesn't so I think、uh, it's always try and error thing.、Eh? Mm. There is no like、uh, answer. I think so.、Um, yeah,、um, just you know, not only kid but also yourself, myself also try and error every day. So if I approach this way to the kids today is good, then I will carry on. But then if it's not good, then we just Try to other approach,、mm. something like that. So, yeah. I I noticed like in one post that you bring Ichitola,、mm. which is the biggest son.、Mm. Um, he's only four years old, three. It、uh, at the moment is five. Oh, already? Yeah. <laughs> so quick. Okay, so he's five years old now.、Mm-hmm. But like, I think that post was、um, two years ago, maybe.、Mm-hmm. You bring him to like an outdoor,、uh-huh. and then to cross the Like a river. Normally, like in <laughs> our country, everyone will carry their kids、yeah. or even holding their kids. But you yeah, let each、yeah. toddler to walk、yeah. by himself. And there's many times like he's learning so many different kind of sports.、Mm. And you bring him to outdoor, explore the nature, and、mm. let him learn a lot of things.、Mm. I think that's very like open-minded as a yeah, parent. Yeah. So,、uh, yeah. So, like he, I don't want、mm. uh, push my life. Towards him, so、uh, he is my son, but he is different from me.、Mm. So、uh, he can influence by my, by me or by my life, but I don't want to push him、uh, to have a、uh, my own lifestyle or anything. So I think what I can do is just show him how I live or how, how who I am, and then let him feel like a.、Uh, What, like、uh, who his dad is,、mm. and then、uh, so I don't, and then I'm not gonna give him answer so easily. So first let him try, and then、mm. see how it goes. And then if it's okay, then just carry on. But if it's something wrong, let him think like、uh, what was wrong, and then try him、uh, something other,、uh, something different.、Mm. Yeah, that's kind of. I don't know. Maybe the the concept of how I raise the kid,、right. and then、uh, most importantly, you need to have a again good communicate with your wife.、Uh, yeah. yeah, like like、uh, yeah, the parents need to be on the same page towards、right. the towards the,、uh, their kids. Yeah, otherwise, kid will get confused. <laughs> True. Yeah, frequently we, me and wife, have a chat about the. The how、yeah. to raise a kid,、mm. and then、uh, make sure we are,、uh, you know, facing the same direction,、mm. so that kid won't, you know,、yeah. get lost. Oh, that's so true. Because、yeah. many、um, families, maybe、mm. the mother side will be like more cautious and then more careful、mm-hmm. about a lot of things, while like.、Uh, Um, fathers will always be more chill, and、yeah. then mother will yeah, like yeah. you can do that.、Mm-hmm. <laughs> so the kids might be a bit confused、mm-hmm. as well. That's why, yeah, totally. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And、um, I think we feel I feel kind of the same when we work in disco sports that you are so open minded, like you give many people many chance to that. Then you know, for example, like Tom last year,、mm-hmm. he really、um, show his skill like doing the display yeah, yeah, in the yeah, shops and yeah, things like、yeah. that. You really listen to like what we want to do,、mm-hmm. and let us try, and、uh, which is really good. And but at the same time, we still see you as a boss, but we are not like a step over your head, and we really respect you.、Mm-hmm. Yeah, something like so that. So in terms of job circumstance, uh, so uh, although I'm say it's a manager, the boss, but uh, my 
brain or my mind is limited.、ね mm. So it's good to listen to what other people think, other stuff thinks. And then if they want to try something different, just let them try、mm. and see how it goes. Yeah. Sometimes they, it leads us greater good,、uh, but whereas sometimes, sometimes it's bad result. But that's, it, that's what it is. Try and error thing. Yeah. So、mm. I don't want the boss keep telling the crew, do this, do that, and then just、uh, kind of controlling everyone、mm. with the power or, you know,、yeah. uh, pushing them to do whatever、uh, what I want. Get their shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. But rather than just let them do what they、uh, not whatever, but then whatever they want,、mm. to sometimes that g i v e us the better result, I think.、Yeah. And obviously, it, for the team building, that's I think the way better、uh, I think,、uh, you know, uh, team will. So, in the last question, can you recommend some family friendly d e s t i n a t i o n for trips? Throughout、mm. the year in Hokkaido,、mm. where do you like to take your family to? Because I always、uh, see you guys like going yeah, some very yeah, beautiful uh, places. So, uh, we love outdoor,、mm. we need to be outer. So,、ah. <laughs> <laughs> the camping is the, one of the good things to do in、mm. the summer Hokkaido here.、Yeah. So, but there's it, bears.、Hmm? bears. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. But、uh, if yeah, you、okay. pick the place, It should be fine. Yeah.、Um, yeah. So,、um, I don't know, in summer,、mm-hmm. uh, like, uh, if you come to like、uh, Niseko area or like、uh, south part of Hokkaido,、yeah. so Lake Toya is one of the best p l a c e for know, camping Toya, or,、nice. you know, for like、uh, water activities.、Mm. It's, a, it's not like a rapid, but it's just a flat water. It's a lake. So,、uh, very kids, safe. Kids, yeah, very safe. Kids also can enjoy.、Uh, or、uh, Higashi Onuma campsite, which is a little bit down south near Hakodate. Also, very nice、uh, camping area there.、Uh, if you like to be like an ocean, the Yoichi or. Ocean? You know, yeah.、Hey. Yoichi or Otaru, like、uh, they're the small, but they're the beach too. Yeah, and then they、like, see kayaking or. You, you bring、know. kids to do sea kayaking?、Uh, not, not, not yet, but I'm trying to. I'm trying to, but yeah,、uh, yeah there's the ocean too. So the daughter is one and one year old and、mm. nine months,、mm. and then Ichi Tora is five years old. Yeah, yeah. son is five years yeah, old. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you still bring them on the trips. Like、yeah, yeah, 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 yeah. Do you find it difficult to bring like the little kids traveling、uh, yeah. in Hokkaido? Is it or it's、uh, okay? So, if you just travel by car,、mm. I think、uh, you can stop anywhere and then、mm. you know you can like, have a break time and whatever. So, I don't think that's difficult,、mm. yeah. But if you need to catch a You know, public transportation, like,、uh, I don't know, on the, f- the airplane or the ferry or train or buses, yeah, maybe the little kid with, with the little kid is a bit tough. Yeah, but、uh, like, if you want to do the trip, I think it doesn't really matter how,、uh, what age or anything. If you want to do, just do it. Yeah. Otherwise, You can't use your kid excuse, you know,、mm. for, for your excuse. So, yeah, if you want to do it, just do it. Take them along with you, I mean, the parents, and then kid will enjoy too. Nice. So, yeah. I yeah. think, like, when in terms of traveling, or it feels like a lot of people, from my understanding or learning, from a lot of My friends,、yeah. they just becoming parents. Mm, mm, mm. Not just only having a baby or a baby now, it's one or two or three, or even my sister has a four year old kid. They might think like traveling might be a bit, a lot of hustle. Mm, mm, mm. Also, they're、like, wondering like, sometimes they have to pick up the restaurant that is yeah, like yeah, family yeah. friendly mm, 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 in terms of that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or maybe you can then try like day trip first, like、uh, mm. just a couple hours. Right. Yeah, like、uh, it's all in here. If you go like hiking the mountain, it's not 
big one, the, the little hike, little hike. That also good to start, I guess. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Did you carry your kids when you、uh, go hiking? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like so,、uh, the 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 smaller one, the daughter, I just carry on, on back. my backpack,、yeah. and then I hike up、uh, Komagatake the other day. It's、uh, altitude is one thousand something. Wow. And then yeah, so yeah. If 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 kids、it. is small enough, <laughs> she can do that. But once it's getting older. Bigger. Yeah. Vega,、uh, maybe that didn't go. That didn't yeah, walk. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, Ichitora was just hiking by himself. Ah, yeah,、so. kawaii ne. And yeah. what about like in terms of skiing or snowboarding? How、mm. do you think like when is the good age for them to start learning? Okay, so、uh, my son Ichitora's first ski was、uh, when he's two years old.、Mm. Yeah,、um, but I I I think that was a bit too early. Oh. Maybe af- an- af- I think from three years old should be good. I mean, it's good timing, because so kids need to understand what they are doing. Ah,、oh, right. So I I think this is what I think. But if kid doesn't know what they're doing, and then the parent again pushing them to do something, ah,、uh, sometimes it's not、yeah. good. Yeah, they probably will hate that.、So, like、<laughs> yeah, sports, yeah,、right? eventually. Yes.、Yeah. So yeah. I think. As long as kids know what they are doing, and if they like it, they will just automatically, you know, <laughs>、yeah. uh, do them by themselves and then learning by themselves.、Mm. Yeah. So. So you do you think like when Ichitola was three years old, you would send him to like a ski school, school, or you will teach by yourself? Ah,、uh, so mainly we just ah、uh, skiing just by ourselves,、mm. no school or no class. Right. See、but、if he likes only、it. only couple of time yes but、mm. uh, maybe once or twice a season yeah but mainly we just go out together、mm. but I don't know Niseko is like a very just a ski slope just there so it's easy to ac- easy access so maybe that's happened、uh, but、um, I don't know usually、uh, not like that I think <laughs> it, yeah it, it's have a like a It's it's have a big challenge for the parents to take the kids to the like a、uh, ski resort. So、mm. yeah, and skiing and snowboarding、mm. became very popular, especially from last year.、Mm. And then there are so many people who was asking the question like when like which year how old can I bring my kids、mm. to start mm, 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 uh, mm, learning mm. ski or snowboarding? Yeah, for yeah. the ski year. So uh, so my opinion is. Uh, kids need to be understand what they are doing. They are doing, yes, yeah. Thank you so much for today, get on our interview, <laughs> <Okay> . and <laughs> sharing、Thank、so many things. Yeah, I think your life sounds like really good. And we are now like people see the background, not this side, but the other side. We are facing、um, Katsu's house. It's really cool. <laughs> One last question. Yeah. How do you deal with the snow in the winter here? I think people、oh. were like <laughs> very curious about yeah, the so snow. Yeah, so snow clearance is a very tough job too. Yeah. Yeah. So、uh, I have a snow blower.、Mm. So yeah, occasionally I every morning. Ah,、uh, not not every morning. Yeah. But、uh, yeah, once a week or twice a week. Yes. And also, I do ask、uh, someone to help when、mm. they come to、uh, when they do like、uh, the road snow clearance. They will.、Uh, I ask them to just clear my. You know the entrance or is that you have to hire them or ah、uh, yes we do need to pay、mm. yeah. yeah okay so yeah things like people from tropical island like us it's hard <laughs> for us to imagine like we always thinking like oh s- snow is so good but hard to yeah, it's tiring to be honest <laughs>、okay. yeah we don't need snow in the town but mountain eh? yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah only yeah. if yeah.、Mm. But, but again, like、uh, this is something I feel like I live in the seasons, like、mm. nature. So winter we we get snow, lots of snow. But that's you know the shogun I think you know like、uh, just just you know let it be. So shogun I shogun I think awesome.、Yeah. So okay, thank you so much, Katsu-san, for sharing and、uh, sharing your story with us. Thank you. And then yeah, and <laughs> I'm gonna. 
stay at Kazu's Lodge today. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah thank you so much. Let's enjoy the barbecue then. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> enjoy the barbecue. <laughs> oh, oh, speci- yeah. special. <laughs> yeah. Special feature. Yeah, special feature. <laughs> <laughs>